down 25 percent. That's what the shares are doing right now. Is that an overreaction? And if so, why? Well, listen, I think it's a disappointing reaction. Uh, we did have a difficult quarter. Uh, but that said, there's a lot of great things happening around Expedia Group. We had a lot of highlights, you know, volume from room nipes were up 11 uh, percent. We continue to see great strength uh, on our Expedia Partner Solutions business. Uh, we continue to make great uh, efforts uh, on our customer centricity initiatives. And it's starting to show up in our results. You know, we did see our direct channels up more than the overall business. And we got a long runway ahead of us. Let's talk about what's happening uh, with the short-term rental business. Um, there seems to be a concern that you are struggling to make your, your message heard on Google. How do you reduce your reliance on Google search? Well, I think overall, whether it's our alternative accommodations business and Verbo or, or, you know, our other core OTA brands, you know, a lot of it is around the strategy that we've got in place, which is making sure that we've got great products and services for our customers, that we build loyal customer relationships. Uh, we've got incredible loyalty programs. Hotels.com, for example, just hit their 50 millionth loyalty member. Brand Expedia has got a good rewards program. And importantly, it's about delivering incredible products and services for our customers, and that's exactly what we're squarely aimed at doing. Uh, Verbo itself, which is our alternative accommodations brand, uh, as you know, has just relaunched its new brand. They're looking at relaunching uh, or launching that in other regions around the world uh, and ultimately we've seen good strength there the verbo brand itself has been up nicely double digits uh, and again we're going to continue to move along with our multi-channel strategy that you know really isn't a strategy that is solely dependent on google mark how much more are you going to spend on marketing though with verbo because it is taking some time to sort of have this rebranding accepted and known by the public and particularly now with this new challenge of google putting Hotel Finder above the likes of Verbo in search, that makes it much more difficult for you. I think the street and, and investors want to know when will that happen, how much will it cost for that to happen? Well, we're going to do it in a balanced way, in which you know, which is the way that we've always done it. You know, we have spent against the Verbo brand in the U.S. You know, both in you know traditional television, uh, digital. Uh, we are seeing good results there, and as we look to roll it out internationally, we're going to continue to do it in a balanced way. But of course, our alternative accommodation strategy isn't just about Verbo. You know, we have uh, recently brought some of our partner-facing teams closer together. We are now up to 650 alternative accommodations offerings from Verbo available on our core OTA brands. And so international expansion for us in alternative accommodations is going to be a real combined effort. Uh, and we're going to leverage a lot of the existing great customer relationships we've got already for Hotels.com uh, and Expedia specifically around the world to make sure that we continue uh, to offer that alternative accommodations inventory.